Having the right camera can completely change your photos and videos. And in this video, I'm breaking down the top three best beginner cameras. So you'll never have to suffer through bad photos and videos again. The only issue is that a camera might work great for one person, but might not be the best for you because some cameras work better for different situations, which is why I made sure to include options for all types of situations. So regardless of whether you're a photographer, videographer, or want something that is great for both, I'll have the perfect camera for you. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned so you don't miss anything. First on my list is the Canon T7, my choice for the best beginner camera for photography. The Canon T7 is an entry-level camera that's been on the market a little while now. It's designed for people who want to get into photography but don't want to break the bank. Starting off with the build quality, the Canon T7 feels solid and well-constructed. It's not a heavy camera, but it feels sturdy enough to withstand a little bit of wear and tear. On top of the camera, you'll find a mode dial that makes it easy to switch between different shooting modes. And on the back of the camera, there's a large LCD screen that makes it easy to navigate through the menu. Built-in Wi-Fi connectivity makes many wireless functions really easy and convenient. Using the free app, you can connect with your smartphone or other devices to share photos and videos, browse, print, and more. And when it comes to image quality, the Canon T7 is definitely a big step up from your app average smartphone camera. It's equipped with 24.1 CMOS megapixel sensor and the Digic 4 Plus image processor, which means that it is capable of high quality images. The camera also has an ISO range of 100 to 6400, so you can shoot in a variety of lighting conditions. One of the standout features of the Canon T7 is its autofocus system. The camera uses a 9 point autofocus system, which is good for a beginner camera, and it has the ability to track moving objects, so you can take photos of your kids or pets without having to worry about them moving out of focus. The Canon T7 is also capable of shooting in full HD video at 30 frames per second, which is great for capturing memories of your travels or family events, and the camera has a built-in microphone and allows for in-camera editing. Overall, the Canon T7 is a great camera for beginner photographers who want to get into photography. It's well-built, produces high-quality images, has built-in Wi-Fi, and even more. If you're looking for a really solid camera to start your photography journey, the Canon T7 is definitely definitely an ideal camera. Next on the list is the Sony ZV-E10, my choice for the best beginner camera for video. This camera is perfect for those who are just starting out in photography and videography and want a camera that is easy to use, compact, and affordable. The Sony ZV-E10 is a compact camera, making it very easy to carry around. It's lightweight and has a sturdy build, so you don't have to worry about it getting damaged if you take it on the go. The ZV-E10 also features a 3-inch touchscreen that can be flipped around 180 degrees. A real plus when you are shooting video on the go and ideal for people who want to get into vlogging. It has easy to control settings with a touchscreen that is responsive and intuitive, making the camera a joy to use. Now, additionally, the camera has a built-in microphone that can capture good audio, especially in quiet environments. However, if you need better audio quality, there's a 3.5 millimeter audio input for an external microphone. All things that are improvements over something like the Canon T7. Now, in terms of image quality, the ZV-E10 boasts a 24.2 megapixel sensor that can produce high quality photos and it's capable of shooting in full HD 1080p at 60 frames per second or 4K at 24 frames per second, which is great for capturing smooth and fluid video footage. The camera also has image stabilization to help reduce camera shake and produce professional looking video. Now for video shooters, the ZV-E10 offers picture profiles which allow you to tweak the color, saturation, and other image parameters to, to get you the look you want. You can also use slow motion and time lapse modes to add creative effects to your footage. And if you're looking to share your photos and videos with your friends and family, the ZV-E10 offers Wi-Fi connectivity, making it easy to transfer your content to your smartphone or tablet. Overall, the Sony ZV-E10 is a great beginner camera for those who want to go beyond the smartphone with their video quality and photos. With its compact size, solid video capabilities, and user-friendly features, this camera is an excellent choice. 
And the final camera on my list is the Sony a6400, my choice for the best overall beginner camera. The Sony a6400 is the perfect camera for hybrid video and photographer shooters at an affordable price point. Starting off with the specs, the a6400 shoots at an impressive 11 frames per second with a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor, allowing it to capture a lot of data. So images are super crisp and clear. It also features its Bion's X-Image processor and ISO from 100 to 32,000 with expanded ISO sensitivity at up to 102,400 for still images. All these features combine to minimize noise and produce top-notch accuracy. The A6400 can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. The 4K video quality is impressive with smooth, sharp footage and good color reproduction. The A6400 features a 180 degree flip touchscreen LCD, making it easy to take selfies and ideal for vloggers. One of the standard features of the a6400 is its autofocus system. It has 425 phase detection points and 425 contrast detection points, which combined with Sony's AF technology makes it incredibly easy to keep your subject in focus even when they're moving. This is especially useful for vloggers or photographers who want to keep their subject in focus at all times. In addition to its autofocus system, the A6400 has a number of other features that make it a great choice for beginners. For example, it has a range of creative modes like sweep panorama and 13 types of picture effects, which allow you to add a creative touch to your photos. It also has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, making it easy to transfer your photos and videos to your phone or tablet. The Sony A6400 is the best all-around beginner camera, in my opinion, for someone who wants a camera that's easy to use but still packed with features and who has a bit more money to invest. Its image and video quality, autofocus system, and built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth make it a great option for capturing high-quality photos and videos on the go. If you guys like this video or learned something, please give it a like and be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. That's all. Till next time.